Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to Mark's Tag. So in today's video, I want to do a little brief walkthrough and talk about some of the things that I love about iOS 16 so far. I've only been playing around with it for just a few hours, so I don't even know most of the features, but here are my favorite ones and I think you guys are going to love it. So first things first, yeah, <laughs> the lock screen got a major redesign and kind of feels like an Android phone now. Best of all, Say goodbye to annoying notifications that take up the entire display. Maybe if you have a if you have a photo of your child or something, and you got Facebook, Instagram blocking the poor kid's face. No more. To get to your notifications, all you do is unlock the phone, and then just swipe up. Your notifications appear nicely in this little transition. And then if you want to hide it, boom, you do it that way. Perfect. It keeps a nice clean uh, lock screen. I'm so with it. Now to customize your lock screen, all you gotta do is first unlock the phone. And by the way, if your iPhone supports it, you can also unlock the phone sideways now in landscape mode. Yeah, that's new with iOS 16, the ability to unlock the phone in landscape. Finally, finally this comes, we got it. But back to the video, unlock the phone, click and hold. You'll see that little customize icon pop up. All you gotta do is tap on it, boom. So now, tap on the clock. Maybe you'll like this type of font. Maybe you'll like this type of font. It's so weird, I'm not used to this from iOS. This just feels, it, it feels like an Android phone, I can't. Uh, so now you can pick the color. You can make it kind of uh, darker and kind of more in your face with this little slider. And there's a ton of colors to choose from. You can even be super specific and really pick your own color. I mean, it's, it goes pretty in depth. So you can do that. Again, the clock icons. Let me put it to a color that's best. Let's see, maybe this one. Yeah, I like that one. So then once you do that, you can also tap on the up uh, on the upper widget. You can control uh, pretty much kind of basic functions such, such as stocks, weather. Let's see what else. Reminders, fitness, clocks, your calendar, your upcoming events and also the suggestions and then that will go on the uh on the on the top right there on the bottom you can take away you can add you can add another one take them away and these are all the ones you can add so your your home kit your climate your indoor sensors license switches security so that all can now be on the home screen and <laughs> it, it feels like an Android phone. I can't get over it. I think it's pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Leave your comments down below. And if you click and hold, you can actually have multiple lock screens. So maybe one is for your uh, work. Maybe the other one is for the beach. You got a nice little weather animation. If it's raining, you'll see rain. If it's snowing, you'll see snow going down your entire screen. I think it looks really sweet. Uh, but you can also add your own by going to the very right and clicking on add. Here you can see photos, photo shuffle, emojis, weather, astronomy, color, you got the new pride one. You got astronomy, collections, and e even the little emojis. So you can do this type of emoji. You can have it a medium grid, a large grid. You can have it in a ring. You can have it spiraling kind of toward the center. It, it, it doesn't feel like iOS. This is crazy. I never thought iOS would actually ever have this, but here we go. Now, it also does little animations as you unlock the phone and go into the home screen. So uh, keep your eyes on the background. And as you, uh, this is kind of a bad example. Hang on, let me let me pick a different a different one. Let me do this one. This is the best example. So here you got the earth, you unlock it and boom, you see that nice little transition of the earth. Let's do that one more time. Boom, it's super sleek. I love it. And each uh, each different um, lock screen does something different. So for example, on the weather lock screen, you'll see that the clouds are moving a little bit. Then once you unlock, there's also that nice little transition that pushes the clouds upward. It, it, it's, it's, it all works kind of seamlessly in the background. And it's just a nice little pleasing kind of like eye candy, honestly. Now, when it comes to iMessage, you guys already see it. I did try a little bit of it. You know, I had to make sure it works for the video and it does, but you can now edit already sent iMessages. So for example, let's say you had a rough night out. You can't really type. You're texting your bestie. Oops, you did a typo. You already delivered it. What do you do? 
Do you throw away your phone? No, not quite yet. You press and hold and you click edit. And now you can you can take back everything you said. Maybe maybe you're, you were a little too under the influence and you typed something you weren't supposed to. Boom, you can correct it and just put LOL, I don't know. You can send it, awesome. It's sent, perfect, you click and hold. And then if you wanna delete it, just like that, it goes away. So say goodbye to sending accidental messages to some accidental person, you can now delete them. But obviously, as you read this message, you got to make sure they're using iOS 16, okay? If they're using iOS 15 and you try to delete it, it'll delete on your end, but not on their end. If you try to edit, it'll edit on your end, but not on their end. So you got to make sure the person you're messaging has iOS 16. Another cool thing with the iOS 16 is the gallery. So let's say I want to send a little sticker of the cat, right? Not the actual photo, but I want to make a little cutout sticker. So what do you do? Do you bring it into Photoshop? No. Say goodbye to Photoshop. All you got to do is click and hold and boom, you got a little cutout of your cat. Now you just bring it into messages, drop it in there, click send. And now you got a perfect cutout of this cute little dude. I mean, that's awesome. That's pretty accurate too. I would say for a beta. I mean, that is really accurate. So what else does it work on? How about this PlayStation controller? Yep. Let's go ahead and open up messages, let go, boom, you got a little PS5 uh, controller sticker. What about the Pixel 6? Would it work on the Pixel 6? And <laughs> it does. Just like that. And when I tell you, okay, so it's not the best cutout, you see some little rough edges, but I mean, hey, for a quick little sticker, uh, I can't complain, this looks pretty good. And now new with iOS 16 is dictation. It got even better and it acts very similar to the Google Pixel in terms of accuracy and new for this year, punctuation. Yes, you heard that right. Now we finally have punctuation. So theoretically, if it works properly, it should place proper punctuation in places where it needs to go. Best part is I can just pick up the phone and start typing. And then continue talking and the phone will continue. And if you want to end dictation, all you got to do is press that button right there. And now you can talk without actually sending a message or without typing any more words. I mean, check out that punctuation. In my opinion, hey, not bad. So guys, that was a little preview of just some of the things that I found out by using iOS 16. I think these are some of the things that majority of people will automatically notice right when they get iOS 16. I think it's a very nice polish. It's not a complete redesign, but honestly, you can only redesign something so much until it just becomes a total mess or something completely different and then people are gonna complain and then someone won't complain. You can't please everyone. So this is uh, a nice little polish. This is kind of like, this is kind of like uh, the best version of iOS 15.5, if that makes sense. But I mean, I'm totally loving the new lock screen. I'm just so thankful that notifications aren't gonna be piling up all over the place. That's such a cool thing. You just unlock the phone, swipe up. <laughs> I mean, come on, that, that's, it's, it's, it's nice. It keeps the lock screen nice and clean. So what do you guys think about iOS 16? How, how, how are we feeling it, you know? Do, do we love it? Do we hate it? What, what do you guys think? Leave me your comments down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, definitely leave that like because it helps this video and channel out immensely and i always appreciate you guys for doing that and if you guys have any questions do feel free to let me know down below this was mark from markstack adios